How has recent international travel in Norway affected your ambition and goals? It was great uh, working with uh, Jim Hart, who's the founder of this, uh, the, the Norway Theatre School. Um, and Jim and I, we met, actually he's, he's also in Austin, he goes back and forth, and we met and then he said, I'd like, to, like you to come out to Norway. Um, it was really cool because, uh, in a sense, I had a fresh group of uh, these theater students. He's teaching them entrepreneurship and theater. He's combining those two things. How do they really make a living out of their craft, rather than just the technical skills of mm -hmm. making a play? And um, it was neat because we had five days together, and we were really able to sort of go through the whole circle in the sense of all the different models step by step, starting with MRE, and then U plus U, and then bootstrapping. And um, it was just exciting to see the light bulbs go off. One of the things we did was we had them produce a, some kind of work of art that explained or, or, or described or embodied what they learned. And oh my gosh, it was just floor. I mean, the, there was one where uh, these gals, these two gals are filmmakers and they decided to tell the story of the entrepreneurial journey. But the way they did it was they showed they, they did this story where this girl is sitting there and, and she's sad and she and, and you realize after after a while that she's afraid to leave her house. And, and then and then it's all of a sudden she has this brainwave, you know, the the spark of inspiration, and you see her kind of working, you don't know what she's doing, and then later on you see her walking outside and she's got a big door frame that she's walking with. So instead of right, I mean that's how she solved it. She's like, I'll take the door frame with me, you know? And she's having conversations with various people and, and whatnot. And then of course the, the final scene was all these different people with their own door frames. <laughs> so she solved a problem for herself and solved it for all these other people. It was just uh, incredibly, you know, entertaining. So I love that because it, it, it sort of, I think there's, it, it showed me something about the relationship with models and then action. There's this, you know, and it was like a completion of that because this whole week we were dealing with the models and breaking things down and then they took all of that and made it into something. Yeah. Um, so I think that maybe some of these things are, are actually you know, innate. Maybe, maybe there are things that we actually know. We might not have the full framework for it, but we intuitively know it. And that's exciting because maybe, that, maybe it has a broader scope than just the people that have already encountered these things so far.